Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at how you use the push notification module in the uh, app platform. So you would click on your uh, from your dashboard, you click on campaigns, you see notifications down at the bottom, the screen pops up. Um, you hit the add new button, just click the explanation. The hub emails, uh, this is for uh, you to set up um, the hub inside of the app. So you're able to actually send push notifications through the app um, if you're an admin. So whoever's admin, uh, whoever's email addresses are here, um, those IDs will have access to the hub inside of the app. But we're looking at the back office now, so we'd hit the add new button, and all we're doing is filling out some data. So we'd give it a name, uh, whatever the name is, the push date, so you can set up a date uh, today or sometime in the future. Uh, let's do one for today. Uh, you select your time, uh, whatever time zone you're in, uh, your reward levels, so you're able to segment your database by reward levels. Uh, if you would choose, I'm going to put all the locations. If you've got multiple locations, if you've got one on the East Coast and one on the West Coast, you obviously don't want to be sending a push notification to both. Uh, both users at the same time because uh, 9 o'clock in the morning on the East Coast, 6 a.m. on the West. So you can segment your push notifications that way as well. Uh, you're also able to, to use the tagging feature. Um, you're able to have uh, tags set up, which are words that segment your, your database further, and they would be uh, assigned to users in their profile. So if you had the specific product or something that, you'd, you know, that users could uh, um, pick right on their profile, so you know, we want to be notified when push notifications are sent out for these these and these kinds of messages. So that, that's how what the tags are. Um, placeholder is the name of the uh, you know the customer if they've added their name in the uh, in the um, uh, in their profile that will be there. Uh, start date would be today's date. Where is the calendar I'm showing you? So here's the calendar. So your your current date and the end date would be uh, at least one day in the future. So this basically tells the system how long the push notification should be in the user's app for. So there's a, uh, inside of all the apps, there's a, a notification screen. They can go there and see a list of push notifications. So if you put uh, starting today and ending today, it won't show up in the notification. It won't go out. So make sure you make at least have one day, a uh, one day spread between the two. Okay, it's it's also mentioned right here as well. The short description is uh, what's going to show up on the uh, locked screen of the app. So you know. This is a test. Okay. You see that? Wait, populates there. And now when you come down here, you've got an area where you can actually write a message or you can add an image. One or the other, not both. So if you're writing a message, whatever you type in here will be in the body of the of the push notification. If you're selecting and sending an image, this is the image size 300 by 400. Um, let me show you what one image looks like. Okay, so this is this is a lot cleaner, a lot more professional looking, rather than just putting some you know words on a blank blank screen. You can put your messaging on your image. So again, an image size of 300 by 400 pixels. Uh, upload that and uh, put your messaging right on that. It looks a heck of a lot more professional. Looks a lot cleaner. The other thing you can do is when you send an image, you can actually put a link. Let's say you're uh, highlighting a product, right? So when someone clicks on the push notification and and clicks on the image, it will take them right to that whatever link you paste in here. So I'm going to just select this and hit active and submit. Now the push notification comes to the top of my screen right here. And there is a link here. So if I want to send this out, I would just right now, I've set the push notification up. I just hit the push button and it will send push notifications immediately. Okay. I can show you, okay, 23 have been sent. Um, and that's it. If you set it up for a date in the future, the system will automatically set, send it out for you. Very simple to use, easy, uh, easy to use, easy to set up, and a very powerful tool. Please use this wisely, um, because if you're sending out push notifications every hour, people are going to delete your app. You're going to irritate them. Thanks for watching, guys.